Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Confidence Intervals Part 2 We recommend viewers to watch the following videos before watching this video for better viewing experience. Confidence Intervals Part 1 and Hypothesis Testing Part 2 and T Distribution. But why do we need confidence intervals in the first place? Consider the following examples. A soap manufacturer is setting up for production of a batch of 100 gram soaps. If the mean weight is not on target, some soaps will be underweight or overweight. Another example, a soft drink manufacturer is setting up line for production of batch of 300 ml cans. Incorrect setting of the mean will actually result in underfill or overfill. A manufacturer of fuel injectors wants to ensure that mean flow of injector cups is on target so that engine emissions will meet regulatory requirement. We never know population parameters in real life. We therefore draw conclusions about populations based on samples using some statistics. We are therefore never 100% sure about our decisions. Confidence intervals are based on certain confidence level, typically 90, 95 or 99%. Confidence level means nothing but probability. We have explained in our first video on confidence interval part 1 that confidence interval for population mean mu equals x bar plus minus z alpha by 2 sigma by square root n. The population standard deviation sigma must be known for applying this formula. We will explain procedure to determine confidence interval when sigma is actually not known and we will explain that in this video. When population standard deviation sigma is not known, we have to use sample standard deviation s instead of population standard deviation sigma and t distribution instead of z score or standard normal distribution. Therefore, confidence interval for population mean mu will now be given by x bar plus or minus t alpha by 2 into s upon square root n. Consider example of a soft drink manufacturer. The production supervisor is setting up line for production of batch of 300 milliliter cans. Incorrect setting of mean will result in underfill or overfill of the cans. Therefore, it is necessary to set the mean fill volume at 300. To verify the setup of filling station, the quality control inspector checks volume of the first 16 cans. The data is shown here. What is the confidence interval of the process mean? Assume confidence level of 95%. Sample average x bar and sample standard deviation s can be easily calculated on Microsoft Excel or calculator as 299.6 and 0.585 respectively. Use table of students t distribution to determine value of t alpha by 2 or 2 tail alpha risk of 5% that is t.05. This is the table of t distribution which can be downloaded from our website www.world-class-quality.com. In the table, we must locate a value equal to 2 tailed alpha risk of 0.05 and 15 degrees of freedom. This value is 2.1314. Remember that confidence interval for population mean mu is given by x bar plus or minus t alpha by 2 into s upon square root n where t distribution is used instead of z 
as we do not know the population standard deviation. In the soft drink example, x bar equals 299.6, sample size n equals 16, alpha is 5% and s sample standard deviation is 0.585 and therefore confidence interval for population mean will be given by 299.6 plus minus 2.1314 which is the table value of the t distribution for 5% alpha risk on both tells into 0.585 upon square root of 16 and it works out to be 299.91 upper value and 299.29 lower value. Now note that the target mean was 300 which is not included in these two values and therefore we must reset the process to avoid excess or less volume of the soft drink. We can also use template from Institute of Quality and Reliability. Please write to us on this email ID to get the template. Or you could also visit our website www.world-class-quality.com and click on contact us and write a mail to us about this template. So the left side of the template can be used when sigma population standard deviation is already known. In this case, we don't know the population standard deviation sigma. So we use this right side of the template using T distribution. In the soft drink example, X bar equals 299.6. So we enter sample mean as 299.6. Sample size N is 16. Sample standard deviation is 0.585. And alpha risk is 5%. And we get the same values that we calculated 299.91 and 299.29. So we could very well use this template. The template also supports calculation of confidence intervals for standard deviation and also calculation of confidence intervals for proportions. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Statistical Quality Control. Click the subscribe and bell icon for getting intimations on the future videos.